Marcy Ryan, the family of Jonathan Ramos, feared his killer would never be caught. Tonight, the family wants to set the record straight about what led up to that tragic night that Jonathan was run over. 16-year-old Jonathan Ramos was close with his mother. They were very loving and caring with each other. I mean, they were very close. Um, from her four kids, I would say he was the closest one to her. Their bond was so close, he couldn't stand to see her in an abusive relationship with this man, Javier Francisco Gonzalez. A very abusive relationship. Um, she ended up in the hospital, you know, because of his beatings. His cousin Lizette Munoz says her aunt left Gonzalez, but he didn't stay away long. He went looking for her on June 26 of 2011. He actually went up to my uncle's house, you know, trying to cause problems, knowing that my aunt was there. Family members say Ramos ran after the van Gonzalez was driving, hoping to run him off. Mr. Gonzalez decides to, you know, come back and run over Jonathan. A report by the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office reveals eyewitnesses at a nearby house party saw Ramos fly in the air from the impact of the van. Gonzalez got away. And for the past two years, Ramos's family has lived in fear until now. He's going to be behind bars for a long time because what he did, sh he shouldn't have done to anybody. Gonzalez was charged with first degree murder Tuesday and awaits his day in court. Ramos's family says they want justice. He took away a life of an innocent person that wanted to do a lot in life. Authorities caught Gonzalez as he tried to enter the U.S. from Mexico. Yesterday at his arraignment, he told the judge he didn't know about the murder charge. His bond was set at $1 million. Reporting in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Glendale, Action 4 News.